Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. So in the previous video we left on the edit we make a check here if the post user ID is not the same as the out ID we say abort here so right now the user is not the same we have this 403 on the edit page but as I told you instead of using this if check we can use a policy and let's do that let's go to Laravel documentation on the security we have this authorization we have gates here but let's go and create policies here we have this example so php artisan make colon policy and the name of the policy in this case is post policy what we want also we can add the model here so let's copy this and let's open the terminal in our uh, vs code and here i'm going to paste that in hit enter and now the policy inside the app policies created successfully okay let's close this and let's open that post policy okay and here we have all the methods and as you can see all the methods is going to return boolean so true or false so determine whether the user can view any models and i'm going to just return true here so all the users uh, can view all the posts but determine whether the user can view the model so a single post we can also leave here only the user who owns that post can view but i'm going to return true also here so all the users can see the posts a single post then we have here create so determine whether the user can create models and also if the user is authenticated i'm going to return true so to, it's going to it's going to create a post next on the update here so determine whether the user can update the model here i'm going to check now if the user i'm going to say just return not true but i'm going to return and say here dollar sign user id is triple equal to post user id so if the user id is triple equal to posts user id it's going to return true otherwise it's going to return false and the same thing i'm going to do also on for the delete so let's just copy this and paste it here okay save now if you go here or adjacent policies because we have the model post and the name of the policy is post policy we don't need to register that so by default Laravel automatically discover policies as long as the model and policy follow standard Laravel naming conventions so specifically the policies must be in a policies directory or above the directory that contains your model so for example the models may be placed in the app models directory while the policies may be placed in the app policies directory in this situation Laravel will check for policies in app model policies then app policies in addition the policy name must match the model name and have a policy suffix so a user model will correspond to a user policy policy class okay then you can go and read more here so of writing policies yeah we have the same thing here returning user id triple triple to post user id as the same we have also here and if we scroll down so responses we can response here so we can say response allow or response deny passing a message if you want to do that and then we can say response to be gate inspect passing the name of the method okay and also the post object and if response allowed okay so the action is authorized otherwise we say echo or response message so it's going to display this message but i'm going to leave like this and right now this is not going to do much we need to use this post policy on the post controller or we can use as a middleware or as a blade directive on the blade 
so you can read more also here so we can say gate authorize pass in the name of the method and the object let's scroll down without model or if we want to add a filter for if we have admin it, admin users and authorizing actions using policies so on the controller we can check if the request user cannot update passing the post we say abort but i don't prefer that i prefer to use the gate so we via the gate facade and here we can say just gate authorize passing the name of the method and the post okay so let's do that in our project here we check if the post user id is not that abort instead of that we can use the gate facade authorize uh, i think what we have not eliminate auth access let's import the illuminate support facades gate like this so we say gate authorize pass the name of the method and the post object if i save this and let's see now we have right now forbidden but if i refresh we have 403 this action is unauthorized okay so this is protected and we can do the same thing also uh, copy and based on the update and on the destroy but on the destroy we are not calling for the, the update method we are not using the update method but a delete method okay so let's say delete here and let's save let's go back here I refresh if i click the delete we have 403 this action is unauthorized so now we have used that post policy in our uh, controller okay but what i want also is to show and hide this edit and delete buttons based on the authorization here so if the user can update show the edit and if the user can delete show the delete uh, button how we can do that we need to open the show met uh, show blade inside the resources views post and here we have the button to delete and also the link to edit i'm going to cut this and also you can read more here uh, if i scroll down as we can see we have uh, via middleware we can say can specifying the method which is update and pass in the post or just can update post or can create pass in the app model post like this via blade templates so we can use the can blade directive pass in the method name and the post object so let's do that let's say can blade directive the method is update and we pass the post because we have here the post we return from the controller so let's scroll up on the show we have here the pass in the post we have the post on the show now we check if the user can update pass in the post object i'm going to add that link and the same thing we can do for the delete i'm going to say can delete the post and then after the form i'm going to end can like this let's save let's see now as you can see we don't see the edit and delete good let's go to post and i'm going to create a new post with this user now and let's say my post here and just to see store and here is my post if i click to this my post we have the edit and delete and we can update this so if i say update update okay it's updated also we can delete but if I click to this one, yeah, we don't see that. And if I manually go to slash post to slash edit, we have the 403 authorization 
this action is unauthorized. Okay, friends, that's it. How we can use uh, post policy in Laravel, and also you can let's open the web routes. We have at the middleware out on all the routes here. But for example, if you want on the post edit, we can apply that uh, middleware. So for example, middleware can create the single one or just saying can create and pass in the post model. So let's do that. Let's go to this one and say can update post. Now, if I save that, yeah, we have protect the edit here. So I'm going to un to comment this for now, just a little bit. Let's go to edit and to refresh. We have 403, the same thing. If I remove this, can update post and save. And now if I refresh, yeah, now we can edit the post who not belong to us because we don't have authorization, but let's leave it back that one. And also I'm going to add on the post controller, the same thing. Okay, friends, that's it all about this video, what I wanted to show you. Now, if you like such a videos, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.